Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is a little bit off topic from what I normally do, but you may not know it, but when I'm not using my uh, 1080 Ti for flight simulation and other gaming, I actually do a bit of uh, cryptocurrency mining using Claymore Stool Ethereum mining software. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to set this up if you want to do it, if you've got a graphics card that's optimal for it. And there's this website called What to Mine that you can use to see about profitability and all that stuff. But in any event, I mean, the 1080 Ti isn't the perfect card to mine cryptocurrency with. It uses a lot of power, but I do this when I'm on my PC, just doing browsing the internet, doing some basic stuff where I'm not putting a lot of work on the card. And I figure in the background, why not let the card generate a little bit of uh, Ethereum, right? So uh, this is, uh, you can see here, this is how I have it configured for mining. Very simple, nothing fancy as far as the command line goes. But you can see I'm getting about 30 mega hash per second uh, with the default configuration of the 1080 Ti, okay? But what I found was, by you can say I just grabbed the share right there. What I found that by tweaking memory clock offset a bit, I can actually increase the 30 mega hash considerably. So you can see here in profile one, I've got it set up. I reduced the power to, uh, by 80% and I increased the, the memory clock speed by 750 megahertz. All right, so now watch what I do when I initiate this profile. You can see, boom, I just did that right there. Uh, the memory clock went up and you can see my mega hash is now at 37. It'll actually hit 38 at some point, so maybe we'll grab a share here. Share here, but there's 37. I've actually seen it hit 38. I've never seen it go above that, but still, that's a considerable increase, right? So there's a there's a one at 36. So that's a 10%, 11% increase in the mega hash production. So just one word of caution: if you've got a 1080 Ti, be very careful when you overclock it. You want to make sure that you read the manual to make sure you're not making any mistakes. I figure, hey, if I'm uh, just doing some random stuff on the computer, why not use the background to, to mine some Ethereum and make a little bit of money? I mean, we're not talking about a lot of money, but it's adding you know fractions of this cryptocurrency into my wallet. So anyway, there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to set up Claymore mining on your PC. If you've got a GPU that's sufficient enough to do that, just do a search and you can figure that out. I just thought this might be interesting. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, and I'll try to help out, out as much as I can. Uh, if you like what you saw today, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'm actually planning on potentially building a GPU rig to really get into mining a bit heavier, if you will. Anyway, hopefully stay tuned for that. We'll see where that goes. If I do do that, I'll chronicle that on the YouTube channel. If that's something you guys might be interested in learning about, hit the like button or let me know in the comments, and uh, we can go over there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.